I was reading a wonderful article by Guillermo Rubio the other day where his point was to follow your fear. It was a nice look and a way to get yourself moving with a terrific catchphrase. But so big! Think of the things you're afraid of. They tend to be fairly broad-based or things that you can't do anything about. War, the world ending, dying. What if we replace the word fear with the word can't? You immediately narrow your list of fears down to an extremely specific list of items that you absolutely can do something about. I can't play a musical instrument. I can't crochet. I can't write poetry. Why can't you? Write a few lines of poetry. Is it really that awful? Read it out loud. It might not be. Split the sentence in an interesting place. Use your thesaurus to change a word. Now you've got something. Be curious about the process and, and enjoy the journey. You might surprise yourself with the results. There's an elderly lady in Scotland who crocheted an entire fence out of steel wire. How do you think that project got started? That's right. She was simply curious to see if she could do it. Want to learn to play a musical instrument? Go visit your local music store. No one there cares if you pluck, bang, whistle, or honk the wares to see what fits you. They are there to assist you and will even hook you up with a teacher. Curiosity is fun and it's been proven to stave off dementia also. If you'd like a nice catchphrase to go with this, how about curiosity killed the cat? When you find yourself being fear fearful, do follow that fear until you find the cant in there. Then have some fun with it. What have you got to lose? My name is the Reverend Kathy Crosby, and there you have it, short and sweet.